Hello, and welcome to Everything Fly Fishing. If you're new here, please subscribe so you don't miss any channels, any more videos that help you get more time out of the water and catch more fish. In today's video, we are going to learn to tie these. And I tied these up in about 15 minutes, and there's nine flies here. Real easy pattern to tie, really successful, and it's real easy and successful. So please like, share our video, and we're going to get to these flies right now. We're going to start this fly by debarbing the hook and it'll make it easier to get out of your friend's arm if you hook somebody by accident. So always debarb your hooks. We always do. And the hook we're going to use is a 2X size 12. I mean, the shank is a little bit bigger. And we're going to throw a 1 8 inch diameter gold bead on. Now we're going to add some lead wire. And I recommend you tie some. Uh, you could use a red thread and an orange one some weigh some a little heavier some a little lighter we're going to add some lead wraps to get this fly down towards the bottom without adding weight to the tippet i'm going to use a bright thread here red orange i use red i'm just going to cover up that lead real quick it don't matter what it looks like under here. You're going to cover You will never see what's underneath this What you do, this step you're doing. Just, just cover up the lead. And then I put some head cement on it and let it dry. Now what you're going to do is you're going to throw in a loop into your thread. And then cover up that loop and run your thread back up to where the bead is. Now holding that loop open with two fingers, you're going to take, I use brown in this video, but we use all kinds of colors from yellow to red, to all kinds of colors. But in this video, we're going to use a brown, it's a gold color. We're going to stick some of that, loosely stick that inside that loop. And you're just going to put it in there very loosely. You don't want to put too much in here, just enough. A little bit in, in between that loop. Then you're going to take your hemostats. Or you could use hackle pliers. And you're going to slide it into the end of that loop. Pull as tight as you, or pull that loop. Let go of your fingers. So you can have the loop in your hand like this. You're going to pull that your pliers back on the loop, let go of the fingers till it's tight. The two strings come together. Then you're gonna clamp that there and start spinning it. And spinning it and spinning it. And what I like to say is with this fly, the key word or phrase to this fly is making the string disappear. You wanna spin that and spin it till that thread almost disappears. Now you want to keep spinning that till that red thread almost disappears. And you'll see what I mean is you keep spinning it and spinning it. And you want to spin it a lot because this will helps hold your dubbing in. Now, once you got this all spin and the threads don't disappear, you're going to take your thread, put it right behind the bead, and wrap this up. And if you get to a gap where there's no dubbing in the dubbing loop, 
Just keep wrapping it until you get all the way up to the head and make this big bushy mess looking thing. Now what you're going to do is you're going to put a thread wrap behind it, a thread, thread wrap in front of it, and secure this down with a couple wraps, cut your waist off, and then right away you want to whip finish it. And I set two or three sets of whip finishes so that red thread goes right behind the bead, and this is going to be your hot collar. And they work. Hot collars work on Frenchies. This fly is really going to work. It's really a bulky mess. But what I do now is after I get fly tight is I'll go back and pull the extra hair out any ones that just seem to come out really no problem I'm not gonna pull all the hair out of it and make it bald but I'm gonna pull a little bit of hair out of it that way you know you don't have all this hair running in the f creek anyway plus you just pull it out and it'll make it less bulky and it looks pretty cool you see this and we used just so you know we used ice dubbing you don't have to use ice dubbing you can rabbit dubbing whatever but we used the ice dubbing in this one so now, let's take a closer look at this really cool, very productive fly. I hope you guys like that fly. That is a killer and easy, easy fly to tie. So all you people that are new to this sport, I mean, even you guys that are advanced, trust me, this fly really works. Even you people that are new, this would be really easy to tie. And if you, even if you've been here a while and you know how to tie really well, whip these up. They're really easy to tie and they really will show you when we get to the water this year how well these flies work. And, uh... For you people that are interested, I wanted to post your news bulletin. We only need $90 away from keeping the channel alive. We have to have that done by the end of the day. Tomorrow, or well, tomorrow evening, I think they'll shut us off. Or it could be in the morning. I don't know. So anybody that, go, go find me link below to keep the channel alive if you haven't yet. And all you people that have, trust me, you're going to be glad that you did keep help donate money. I can't really tell you what I'm going to do for you because then you're not supposed to. That's against... Go fund me rules to tell you what, you know, I could say that you're going on our special email list that you'll receive discounts via email just for us, our way of thanking you for donating money. So all you that have, thank you very much. And if you're still going to, to help keep the channel alive, like we said, only I think 80 away, 80 bucks, dollars more, four $20 donations, eight, $10, whatever. But thank you. All you people that have, and if you still plan on doing it to help keep the channel alive, we thank you very much. And let's hope we can do it by the end of the day, tomorrow. Okay, now that being said, this fly really works. We, uh, Like I said, we're going to weigh it down. It's so easy, very easy to tie. So I'm glad you guys were here for this video. And, man, you got to get up and tie some of these things. Man, I got this whole little I'm gonna a jar. These are Tracy's little test strip containers and we put flies in them we got I emptied these out and put them in my boxes last year at the end of the year I had about 20 of these different dry flies in them I put them in there and we'll pull them out and I'll say look here's the flies that we tied in class and show you boom and uh, don't forget that there's a couple things coming we got cabin fever expo on the 17th at the Mifflinburg High School Lewisburg, Pennsylvania, or Mifflinburg Pennsylvania High School on the 17th, we got 24th, we got the fly tying meet at Buffalo Valley Sportsman's Association. And you go to check that out. I'll make sure I put the link in the description below where you can check that out. 
And on the third would be at Lake Cumming, and I'll show you where that's at too. I'll put the link below to all these events below in the description so you can check them out. Um, you can find all this stuff to tie this fly in our store below. And the link before, check that out. You should check out all our links and, you know, shop at our store. Help keep our channel alive so we don't have to go through this ever again. And look forward to making, I'm coming out with a new t-shirt that's going to be really cool. You're going to check that out. And uh, as long as we stay alive, uh, if we go dead, then uh, when I come back, I'll show you the new t-shirt I designed. And uh, thank you for uh, being here, getting us up to this many subscribers. It is amazing. It's been an amazing, amazing ride this far. And I look forward to making a lot more videos for you guys here. And um, like I said, a video every day if we stay live, if we don't go dead. If we go dead, we'll come back with a video every day. And um, we're going to soon be putting up a link below on the courses you can take. Beginning fly tying courses, we're going to have different courses. We're also going to teach uh, on the water instruction in the courses and how to get, how to nymph a little better, how all kinds of stuff, how to streamer fish, you name it. We're going to put classes and you'll be able to check that out. And uh, that'll help sustain the channel too. Oh, so much coming. Oh, and there's a new, uh, a new like, it's like Patreon, but not like Patreon. And that'll be in the link in the next couple days or when we come back if we don't stay live. But I'm hoping we do. I hope we make making our 80 by the end of the day today and get that paid tomorrow. So. But you guys have a good day, and uh, thank you for always watching our videos. You and me, we meant to be in the great outdoors.